Hello, hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel, which is about Twin Flame Ascension and all things related. How are you? I want to talk to you about your love life and your past love life. You didn't have one. You know why? That was a luxury that you could not afford. Oh, you could love, but you could not afford to have a love life in every life you've been in. So how do people make babies? Oh, there were ways to make the babies. Some of them not very friendly to women. What else? Well, guess what? You haven't always been in the same type of body that you've been in. Maybe you were a man. Maybe you were one of the not so informed men of your time. Maybe you just did what men do. Maybe you were a female. Maybe you were baby trapped. Maybe you were, you know, just arranged into a marriage. I'm very happy about being in 2024 because we are throwing off all of those overcoats of the past, all of those things that kept people suppressed. Men and women, men feel burdened, women feel burdened. But what is it about your past lives that is so burdensome? Okay. It's ancestral, which leads to biological, and there is cultural, tribal, and that's a pretty deep bucket. How can that hinder you? Well, I mean, you could take a look at a very sort of modern film, even though it's a couple of years old now, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Every Greek girl was expected to marry a Greek boy and make babies, and I live in the northwest side of Chicago. A lot of wonderful Greek American people. And that was the expectation. Believe me, it still exists. And there was time when you didn't cross the line. We always envied the Greek kids because they got to have two Easter's, two Christmases. They followed the Orthodox, Greek Orthodox Church and um, the Chicago public school system days of being out of school. So we had a little bit of Greek envy. <laughs> But what happens when people are older? Yeah, and they're expected to get married. And what happens if it doesn't really align with them? And they're just doing it as an obligation. They're doing it for everyone else in the tribe. Those days are ending. The days of doing things because your tribe says so, your leader says so, um, your culture says so, your tradition says so, whether that tradition is familial, religious, or um, originates from your ethnicity, it's ending. Why? Because you're not feeling it. Those are some deep root things tied to the land and things are shaking up. They're shaking. They're pulling the rug out from under. What else about your past? Well, your body's going to have memories. We want to get the bad memories out and we want to be able to move all the good stuff forward onto your future timeline. That's something that we are capable of doing this through my Blu-ray Twin Flame Ring Connection modality. I'm a Blu-ray. Make no mistake about who the Blu-rays are. We are the prototypers. We are the ones plunged through the muckety muck in order to prototype the parts of the body so that others can benefit from it. And you others, I'm expecting you to do your part because I'm doing my part and I'm teaching and I'm helping people integrate and activating. That's huge. If you're not doing this, if you're just relying on one way, I highly recommend that you try this modality that I have to do it the body way because your body's not going to lie. If you have the wrong person in your private parts, your body is going to send off some alarm bells. And that could even be the person you live with. Frequent UTIs, pains, yeast infections, just to say the least. Pains in the lower hips and legs, lower back. Exhaustion in your upper body or fatigue or what I will call spiritual fatigue. And this can happen to men and women where somehow your relationship 
It's not feeding you. It's not fulfilling you. It is not filling your tank. You might feel like you're walking on eggshells. You might feel like you are um, somehow afraid of that person's anger. That's been another thing from our past lives. Many times we have had no choice in certain situations. Like a lot of people like to apply modern mores and even laws like freedom of speech or things like that to ancient times. It did not exist. You were in your role, you stuck to it. You did, and if you didn't, you were excommunicated or thrown out or sold into slavery or something like that. And it happened to everyone in every culture, okay? Nobody has no blood on their hands. But how do you get away from that and get back to your purity through my modality? What are some of the other things in past lives? Well, you were there. That's a part of your timeline. You've had favorite times and you've had really bad times. And I mean brutal, bad, life depleting, mortal, wounding kind of lives. And you still need your essence back. That belongs to you. There may be valuable lessons there, but you don't have to keep repeating it with the same old crappy soulmates, or shall I say, cellmates. Do you want to stay in the cell in that prison with those same people? Or do you want to have an exit plan which involves your light body and lightens you up, giving you the strength, energy, and love to be able to make and create your next moves? Okay, and that may not be tomorrow, and that's fine. But we get you into that creative mode so that it is for the highest good of you and the highest good and benefit of everyone concerned, which can be children, which can be uh, spouses, ex-spouses, exes, baby daddies, baby mamas, your extended family, anyone who has an opinion on your life, really. And do it very seamlessly and with as little effort as possible by using your light body. Your light body has the connections you need to create and move and re-energize and fill and be able to not be brutal with other people because you don't need to do this stuff and never darken my door again. Fine, fine by me. Okay, we don't need to go there. It can be very seamless. And here's the thing. Maybe you're hesitating. Mm, guess what? Your soulmate has a higher self. They may be making the moves themselves, which will really throw you off and really upset your ego because you thought you could keep everything in place. Okay. So the point is, is like, let's get to your love life. We are here in the month of love. We are here in the month that honors people, people who I love of African ancestry, there's a lot there, and I know that people are like, they're pulling up the rear and they are throwing off the past. They are bringing a lot of things to light, and I'm very grateful. And again, they chose that incarnation. You've all chosen your incarnation with certain things to help you get rid of, benefit, and move on, and be in love. So let's make it expedient Look at the links below if you would like to join my webinar class on your love life, past, present, future, and really get some action going for yourself. Thanks so much, and I will say bye now.